Keith Lee. Former professional fighter became professional food reviewer amassing a total of over 60 million followers on TikTok decided to do a food tour in the city of Toronto. Us being the absolute degenerates that we are thought it would be a great idea to go to the restaurants that he reviewed and to test the accuracy of his ratings as well as to see if the Keith Lee effect is real. Bro, the Keith Lee effect is dead. First stop on the list, Afro's Pizza. This is not like your ordinary pizza. This is some Wu-Tang inspired deep dish pizza. All right, we're in downtown Toronto, Toronto, Ontario, Canada and we got Afro's Pizza. We got it, let's try it. Now let's rate it one to ten. Cover your mouth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You literally have to do that, man. Oh, shit. This is... I'm going for yeah, right. Oh, wow. Right. Nice and soft, moist, not your typical crunchy pizza. It's needs not more, a pizza. Needs more to... It's that's, unique, but I like it's it. It's unique, because oh, the lemon zest. Yeah, throwing me off a little bit, but. Yeah. Oh, good. Eight out of five. What? what? Eight, out of five. <laughs> 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. That was perfect. Overall, the food did not disappoint. At the time we filmed this video, it was Sunday midday, so it wasn't as busy. We decided to go another day during dinner time because of how good the food was, and let me tell you, the Keith Lee effect is real. We had to wait over an hour for our food, but in the end, it was worth it. Moving on to the next spot, number one, Jerk. This place is known to serve traditional Jamaican food, but also known for the hungover staff that serve Keith Lee as food. We got it, let's try and rate it one to 10. This is brown food. I mean, it's good, but it's nothing crazy. Six. 6.5. When we walked into the restaurant, it wasn't busy. This could be because of the moderate ratings that Keith Lee gave to the food. Overall, the food was good, but it wasn't anything out of this world. Next on the list, Sahan. This was all of our first time trying Somalian food, so we didn't know what to expect. Good, this one's good. Oh, dude, that's brown food, man. All right, guys, we're in Scarborough, Ontario, Canada. We got it. Let's try it. Let's rate it one to 10. Chicken we got chicken shit. stew and rice. Where's the stew? I don't know. I see chicken. Taste that. I see what you mean. It's like... It's like subtle brown, but not really brown. Mm -hmm. It's subtle. Like the flavor is like very soft. There's no like bites to it. Like the flavors don't pounce at you, you know? Mm -hmm. They stay at the back of your mouth and they just stay there. You don't oh. like it? No, Give me a really? seven. Seven? Yeah, seven and a half, sure. Yeah. Six. Brother, I can't you just grab a fork from down here. <gasps> this is fire. Oh, that's actually pretty good. It's yeah, I see what you mean by wet, but it kind of just like melts in your mouth. Yeah. But it's good. Eight seven? Eight seven? Holy shit. I give that a nine. As you can tell by our reaction, we enjoyed the food a lot, especially the cake. At the time we filmed this video, it was fairly busy. But based on how good the food was, they would probably be even busier during peak hours. They also got this mango juice. Honestly, it was a little bit watered down, so... Oh, man. I'm gonna have no. to minus points for it's this. Right. It was okay. Right around the corner from this restaurant, there's a shawarma place called Suma. And let me tell you, the Keith Lee effect was real. The line is out the door. Look at this. Oh, we have the to Keith Lee effect is real. Keith Lee effect. <laughs> We had to wait over an hour for our food because of how busy it was. All right, Suma, Shorma, we got it. Let's try it and rate it one to 10. Yeah, make Andy the first one. <laughs> My personal rating, I give this eight out of 10. Definitely one of the better shawarmas in the city. At the time we visited the restaurant, it was midday and the line was through the doors. I can only imagine what it would be like during peak hours. Finally, we headed towards Ajax, Ontario, which was an hour away from our home to one of the most unique coffee shops in the city. Biscuits to Baskets, a family-owned business that's operating in the comfort of their backyard. We got there an hour before they opened and there was already a lineup from their backyard to the end of the driveway. All right, we're in Ajax, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. We're at Biscuits to Baskets. We got it. Let's try it. Rate it one to ten. Far? It's good. Too sweet. It has that bitter coffee. I love it. A little bit too bitter for me, but it's not I bad. I like it. I love the bitterness. I like it. 8.7, bro. I'd say 8. Yeah, I'm with you. 8.7. I've had carrot cake, but like this is better than that carrot cake I've had. It's good. Like, it's not, there's nothing that makes it stand out. It's not a terrible carrot cake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a good carrot cake is my it's eight out of ten. All right, banana, and I'm assuming it's the same icing on top. It's very subtle. Yeah, I'd say eight out of ten. Like, banana cake, I feel like it's not this subtle. All right, chocolate. Just chocolate. 7.5. Cinnamon yeah, swirl. Mm. 
Yeah, I'll give it an eight. Yeah, I'll give it an eight. Yeah. We talked with the owners and they were telling us about how prior to Keith Lee's video, there would be a lot of local customers. But after Keith Lee's visit, the shop was able to reach out to customers that were outside of the Ajax area. This place was hands down our favorite shop that we stopped at. Overall, we enjoyed all the restaurants that we visited throughout the video. We love what Keith Lee's doing by helping small businesses reach their target audience. And finally, let me tell you, the Keith Lee effect in Toronto is in fact real.